Let's start out with pipe. If you think about it, there's only really kind of two ways to make pipe. One is to take a flat piece of steel and fold it up or twist it up. And the other is to take a steel rod and punch a hole in it. So a steel rod or steel billet with a hole punched in it uh, longitudinally is the way that we make seamless pipe. And we don't tend to use a lot of seamless pipe in the oil and gas pipeline business. Plant environments and that sort of thing might use those more. So we tend to make pipe out of flat steel that's rolled up. Whenever you think about rolling it up, you've got two edges to join. And so how we join those edges helps to determine what the manufacturing method is or what the name is that we give it. So we'll talk about that in a bit, but let me just point out with respect to properties, metallurgy, strength, and ductility, these are primarily set by the steel before we start working with it to make it into pipe. And so we'll specify the properties, specify the parent material, the flat pieces of steel uh, that will go into the pipe, and then we'll take it and roll it up or twist it up and make it into pipe, which has those metallurgical properties. So if we bring this pipe together, we can, uh, we fold it up, long tube, and we begin to weld it by, in one case, putting electrical current onto it, pushing the edges together, the edges melt, they fuse together, no filler material was put in, electric resistance welded pipe. Then the second on the list is seamless pipe, which we talked about, double submerged arc welded DSAW pipe, again, we fold it up, but then instead of an electrical current, we actually pass the pipe through uh, a welding machine and we weld the inside and we weld the outside of the pipe and actually put a filler material in steel, which is on a welding rod or actually a welding reel, which is unwound. We also have spiral wound pipe. So the spiral wound pipe has to be welded up, but rather than taking a flat piece of steel and folding it up into a long tube, we twist the steel up like a toilet paper roll, if you can imagine that. And one of the big advantages uh, of spiral wound pipe is we don't have to have as wide of a piece of steel to make the pipe from as we do if it is going to just be folded up. So if it's just gonna be folded up and we want 48 inch pipe, we need to have the parent metal be 48 times pi now this little table here shows you different uh, grades of pipe. So the grade X42, 46 down to X80 has to do with the SMIs, the specified minimum yield strength of the steel in the pipe. So X42 has a SMIs of 42,000 PSI and you can read on down, it makes sense. The API specification is 5L for line pipe.